Today we're going to pour some molten metal into kinetic sand. This video is sponsored by Care Of, which is a personalized vitamin and supplement service. I'll tell you a little bit more after the project. So I've been experimenting with a bunch of toys that I got from Toys R Us, and one of the things that really caught my eye was this kinetic sand. It definitely moves and feels like sand, but it kind of sticks together as if it's slime or play-doh or clay or something like that. I firmly believe that creativity isn't something you're born with. I think it's a skill that can be learned, and one of the ways that I like to develop creativity is by constantly doing design experiments. I think of these experiments as exercise or training to make me a better designer. You may have seen me use smooth-on silicone products before for casting. It's really great stuff and I've had great experiences working with it, but it's a little bit on the pricey side. I was curious as to whether or not I could use kinetic sand to make reusable molds for casting. I had this sugar skull cookie cutter and I pressed it right into the sand. I used my melting pot to melt a bar of tin and bismuth. I'll put a link to all the products that I used in the description box below. Now this alloy has a very low melting temperature. It only requires heat of about 280 degrees to melt it. Even so, I was kind of halfway expecting the sand to ignite and catch on fire. I poured the molten metal directly into the sand and to my surprise, it didn't burn or melt or even smoke at all. It's pretty cool and satisfying to watch molten metal cool into a solid. But it's hard to be patient. I kept wanting to poke at it and I made the mistake of dribbling a little bit of cold water onto the hot metal. And I think because the inside was still liquid, it caused the hotter melted metal underneath to rise and try to replace the cooler metal that the water had touched. The movement in the metal created a little bit of an air pocket on the finished surface. So lesson learned, don't mess with it until it's all the way cool. As I scraped away the kinetic sand, I tried to look and see if I could see any discoloration in the sand that might indicate some burning and I really didn't see anything. The sand seemed to be exactly the same as before I had poured the metal into it. The sand stuck a little bit to the metal, but I was able to scrape and brush most of it away. I rinsed off the rest of the sand in the sink and I had a nice medallion of solid tin. I repacked the same kinetic sand and was ready to try my second experiment in casting, this time with concrete. I mixed up some Quickcrete countertop mix in white and poured it right into the sand. After letting the concrete cure for 48 hours, I gently removed the sand and started brushing it away. Now the concrete's a little bit more delicate than the metal, so one little piece broke off when I got a little bit aggressive with the brushing. Also, some of the sand really stuck to the concrete and was hard to pull all the way out. It looks a little bit like a Sour Patch Kid with some sort of sugary coating on it. I'm really excited about the metal casting technique and I'm trying to figure out now what sort of project I will use this technique on. My initial thoughts are to try making a belt buckle, but if you have some ideas, put them in the comment section below and let's see if we can brainstorm something really cool. I tried spray painting the concrete white to cover up the blue sand, but it doesn't look that great. It has this sort of like fossil type aesthetic, which could be cool though in the right application. Now I'm starting to get a little bit older, and so in addition to exercising my brain with design experiments, I've also been experimenting with different supplements. Now there's quite a few sketchy supplement companies on the market, so whenever I'm approached by one, I treat them with a little bit of skepticism. What I really liked about Care Of is they weren't so heavy on the marketing, but what they did provide a lot of was a lot of information and studies about the different supplements that you could choose from. So I took their online questionnaire to identify what sort of things I would be interested in trying. Once I completed this form, I just waited about a week and got a whole package of all the supplements that I had asked for, all nicely packaged in once a day packets. If you wanna try care of, click on the link in the description box below and use the promo code Homemade Modern to get 50% off your first month's order. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.